What is Zen? Zen, what does it actually mean? In this presentation, you will learn that Zen is the study and accessing for oneself of the Buddha nature to Tathagatha Garbha wisdom of the Mahayana Sutras. To understand Zen, we must first understand what is Za Zen. Za Zen, what does it actually mean? Pronounced Za is commonly translated to mean sit, yet the context of how it is used, the character can also mean to purposely position or place oneself. Thus, the crude translation of the character to mean to physically sit one's body is insufficient and does not entirely capture the meaning of the character. Pronounced Zen is to mean dhyana, as in an awakened awareness truth of the here and now, or the path leading to nirvana. Together, this is known as za zen, meaning to place yourself in an awakened awareness of the intuitive knowing of the moment. Za zen has nothing to do with seated meditation. The secret of Zen is intuition. Zen is intuitive knowing, or a divine Buddhist revelations that the Dharma flows from. This state of revelations is called Samadhi in Sanskrit, Satori in Japanese, and Kensho. In the West, we know the Samadhi as the Greek word Gnosis, meaning to know spiritual mysteries. Samadhi and Gnosis mean the same thing. Shikantaza, the sitting meditation of the Keldong. Shikantaza is the Sino-Japanese reading of the Chinese word Shigan that has become synonymous with Zazen, mostly though through ignorance. We know Shikantaza as serene meditation and was a common practice of the Chinese Chan temple monks prior to the communist takeover, and is a meditation practice that is synonymous with Vipassana and Dhyana meditation of the Southern Buddhist bhikkhus, also known as the Theravadins. Chikantaza, however, is not Zazen, because Zazen cannot be a materialistic performance art, as Dogen, a 12th century Japanese monk, who is claimed to be the founder of Zen in Japan, mistaken it to be. Dogen and Zazen The story goes that in the 12th century, the young Tendai monk Dogen went to China. He encountered the Kaodong and returned to Japan with what he claims are the true teachings of the Buddha, and he started his own Buddha sect based upon his observations and understanding of the Kaodong. Dogen, however, makes profound mistakes, summarized as, Dogen states that Buddha nature is everything, that seated meditation is performed to absorb Buddha nature, an activity he calls Za Zen, that absorbing Buddha nature through the performance art transforms you to Buddha. None of what Dogen states is supported in any of the Mahayana Sutras in any Chan writings, or even by the Kaodong themselves. We conclude that Dogen started a new religion, Dogen's Epitaph. Though Dogen is credited as the founder of Soto Zen in Japan, the actuality is that his new Buddhism, fledgling temple, was absorbed into the Soto school that Keizan brought to China shortly after Dogen's death and the works of Dogen were buried in the temple archives for centuries, only to be read by the most senior of monks, who found them shocking and contradictory to Soto. Dogen's works resurfaced in the 1970s, as the universities delved into the archives, and later translations of Dogen became available. Dogen's teachings took on a new life in the West, as a radically different Zen from the established Soto Shu of Japan, 
and as a fresh start for those Japanese men looking for a way out of the stifling Japanese religious views and that of the Soda Shu. Much of what Zen in the West is, is greatly influenced by Japanese men who were seeking to escape the stifling and narrow-minded views of the Japanese Soda Shu. And were coming to the West, they created their own Zen ministries based upon their own opinions. Many of these Japanese men turned to Dogen's writings because they viewed them as foundational and attempted to channel these writings into their ministries to create a Zen that is distinctly apart from the Japanese Soto Shu. Today, Zazen is a performance art that is performed in the temple Zendo. This is no different than any martial arts, such as Jiu Jitsu, that is performed in the dojo. It is widely known that martial arts is a performance art of mind-body synchronization of where the intuitive is learned and expressed in ritual fighting styles. As for the actual validity of the combat worthiness of these ritualistic styles, it is well proven that they do not hold up. Zen in the West is run nearly identically as the Western karate schools, with the ranks, lineages, culturalisms, as well as the nationalism of Japanese martial arts. Shikintaza in the West Not all of the Western Zen schools subscribe to Dogen's views, known as Dogenism. Many subscribe to the Chan Soto Shikintaza, the serene meditation, and define Zazen not as a performance art at all, rather as a quality of being, and where one flows with the Buddha nature, intuition, as taught in the Mahayana Tathagatha Garbha Buddhism. Zazen becomes no position because it is not a thing or a performance, because Zazen cannot be conceptualized. Zen and Zazen then is freed of the Japanese customs, cultural views, as well as the nationalism that plagues many of the Western Zen centers today. Just Zen. There is a growing movement, a revolution within Western Zen that rejects the materialism of Japanese Zen and any position that makes an objectification of Zen. This has become the rebirth of Zen in the West. The rebirth of Zen in the West. The West, free of the dogma and the orthodoxy of the Far East, gave way to a rebirth of Zen, a fresh start that could not happen in Japan. Sokiyan came to the West in the early 1930s and taught a Zen free of the Japanese cultural obstacles and the stifling entrenched orthodoxy that Zen in Japan became. His most notable student, Alan Watts, through his engaging lectures, brought forth a Zen that is most inspirational and engaging, that to this day still brings new seekers to the path of Zen. Sokian, a Rinzai Zen master who did not teach Zazen or hold sashins, used the Hakuin system, that of koans, private interviews, and public talks, encouraged arts, poetry, and free expression. According to Mary Farkas, Sokian had no interest in reproducing the features of Japanese Zen monasticism, the strict and regimented training that aims at making people forget self. In these environments, individuality is stamped out. Novices move together like a school of fish, their cross-legged positions corrected with an ever-ready stick. Zen Masters Overtly Renouncing Seated Meditation Neither cultivation nor seated meditation. This is the pure Chan of the Tathagatha. Bazu, Yunang, Yantu, Layman Penang, Boyan, Engpo. The above listed Zen Masters and Layman all recognize the intrinsic Buddha nature and all sentient beings and where no cultivation or merit gathering would develop something that you already have. In fact, if you do these things, you are obscuring 
your own true nature by riding a donkey to see a donkey. Real Zazen. The case has been made abundantly clear that Zen cannot be based on relying on performance art, otherwise no one has seated meditation. In this light, we see Zazen as placing yourself in awakened awareness of the intuitive knowing of the moment, and that has nothing to do with any performance arts. Our practice then is only to awaken to our own intuitive self, the Tathagatha Garbha, in where we flow with the Buddha nature, the Buddha Dhatu, where the infinite wisdom of the Buddhas is unlocked, and we find our true self, our immortality and perfection. Modern Zen, confusing and misleading. Modern Zen has fallen into the degeneracy of spiritual materialism, a reliance on objectification and idolatry of spiritual concepts taken on to boost one's own false self, the one that suffers in this dualistic phenomenal existence. We see this as objectifying Zen as seated meditation, a performance art, a martial art, engaging in performance arts as practice, the collecting of sashins, time spent in meditation, and church ranks, the color of the rakasu, adherence and obedience to the ecclesiastical structure of the church. The modern Zen apologist comes in many forms. Most of the bookstore's Zen section is lined with their books that are there only to convince you that their hustle is the Zen that you are looking for. Conclusions If you have made it this far in the video, you now understand a few things. Zen is your intuitive self. You have all that you need, for there is nothing to cultivate and nothing to gain. Confusion, delusion, obscurance only block you from your intuitive self, thus boistering the false self that suffers. Your intuitive self is the Zen enlightenment, the flowing into the Buddha nature, the eternal and becoming immortal. Zazen does not mean seated meditation. It means to purposely flow in the Buddha nature. False Zen is out there as a hustle that only promotes the false self, that of the ego, and suffering.